Hey guys, so today, or actually tonight rather, it's like 3 in the morning, um, I'm gonna just do a quick update, actually I don't know if it's gonna be quick, <laughs> I really don't know yet, but I'm gonna do an update on like how I've been and stuff like that because I haven't made an update video in quite a while. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been making more professional, like, formal videos, I guess, lately. So, I think you guys are due for an update on, like, my personal well-being and stuff. Um, so... I guess in the past couple weeks I've been, you know, off and on, but I've been working, which I really love my job, as you all know, and that's been nice, although I only really work once or twice a week, so <laughs> I'd love to get some more hours, but that's probably not happening anytime soon. Um, and what else? My boyfriend dumped me, so... That's been really difficult, and for those of you who have borderline personality disorder, you know that we don't handle that too well, do we? Usually. Most of us. Um, don't really handle that too well, so... That's been really difficult. Um... But not only did he dump me, which was bad enough, then, of course, I had to get drunk and call him like an idiot. And, um, now he pretty much wants nothing to do with me. Which, yeah, that's been really difficult. It's taking all of my willpower to not call or text him. <laughs> like, literally, it's taking everything that I have not to, because I miss him so much. And I just really, 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 really like the guy. Uh... Just sucks, although, you know, I obviously screwed up. I did some things I shouldn't have, like with drinking, which, yeah, I totally regret. Well, it wasn't like I did anything really, like, horrible, like, oh my god, bad. It's just I did do, like, a few things that I shouldn't have, like, go to his house when I was really drunk, when I should have just gone to sleep. And what makes that even worse is the fact that he's, like, an alcoholic. So, like, why the fuck would I go? Oh my god, I don't know. But he's not perfect either in terms of, like, why we broke up. You know, he relapsed. Not on alcohol, but, yeah. And he didn't tell me until a week later. So. And it wasn't even, like, a formal kind of telling me. He was just like, yeah, so I did, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you who the guy I'm talking about is, obviously, for his confidentiality. But I will say that I... It started off so... Oh my god. So good. And I feel kind of tricked by him. I thought, I, know, I just thought he was different. And then I thought I was different. And then uh, it's so complicated to explain. But that's been on my mind a lot lately. <clears throat> He's been on my mind. I, were, oh, I hate this, but I've been worrying about him. Like, I don't know if he's using drugs right now. He could be dying. He could be ODing. He could be in jail. I don't know. And I just think about all these things. And then I think about how he probably isn't thinking about me at all. <laughs> and how he probably doesn't care how I'm doing. So I feel like an idiot for caring about how he's doing. But I can't help it. I'm just a caring person. Always been my downfall. <laughs> like, I should just learn to let people go. But I can't, so... Yeah, that's been fun. And I just hope he's okay. Even though he hates me, I hope he's okay and that... I hope he's in a safe place, that's all. Other than that, um... 
well, that has been very, like, impacting me a lot lately. Um, but I'm just trying to stay positive and, you know, when I get into a motion mind, I need to recognize that I'm in a motion mind. Like, and for those of you who aren't familiar with the ter terms I'm using, it's like dialectical behavioral therapy terms from that emotion mind. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> There's rational mind, emotion mind, and wise mind. And wise mind is what you want to be at. It's like a combination of both kind of thing. But... Just if you are interested in dialectical behavior therapy, please feel free to watch my videos of my DBT sessions that I talk about the skills and everything and go into detail about them if you'd like to know more about what I'm referring referring to on that. Um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, I've just, I've been trying, like I saw my psychiatrist today. <laughs> I only get to see her like once every couple months, which really sucks because she's very, very busy. And she's only really supposed to see clients until the age of 18. And I'm 21 and basically I'm still seeing her because I don't really have anywhere else to go. And I'm, plus I'm really attached to her. But uh, looking for a new therapist or like not a psychiatrist. I'm, like, I'm looking for a therapist or a counselor. I'm already, I don't want another psychiatrist because I'm already on meds and stuff and just don't feel like that's necessary right now to have another psychiatrist. I'm getting way off track again. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, emotional mind and all that. Yeah, so I saw my psychiatrist today and she just kind of reinfor reinforced that I need to like realize when I'm in emotional mind, which happens a lot at nighttime. So that's why I'm making a video right now because I'm trying not to focus on the fact that I'm alone in my room with only my cat. <laughs> I'm trying to like do something productive. Cause yeah, I get into my emotional mind a lot when I'm lying here and there's no one to cuddle. Lately, I, I think I have an addiction to relationships. Like, I really do. It's kind of like an epiphany. Like, I didn't really realize people could have an addiction to relationships. Like, when you think of the word addiction, you think of drugs, you think of alcohol. Most people don't even think of self-harm. Which is stupid, but whatever. <laughs> but you don't think of relationships, really. I guess it is like a codependency thing, and it's also a borderline thing. It's one of the nine criteria of BPD is that sense of uh, the fear of abandonment and wanting someone there. But yeah, it really is its own addiction though. Like, I think I need to start treating it as like a separate thing than my BPD diagnoses. Like, I think I just need to be like, hey, I have an addiction to relationships. I feel incomplete when I'm not in a romantic relationship. I... I, I fucking break down and cry every night because there's no one lying next to me, especially the guy that just dumped me. I really, really liked him. And the, the shitty thing about it is it, I didn't even, it wasn't the idea of him that I liked, which usually is the case for me. I actually liked him and his personality. So it hurts even fucking more that he's gone now. But... I don't want to get into another relationship anytime soon, and I say that now, and I say that because I know that to be true, it's like, rationally, I know that I probably shouldn't be in a relationship, I need to get over him now, which is gonna take a long time, even though he's probably fucking the world right now, because that's what guys are like, because guys are assholes, and I hate them, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, fuck. Um, I know that I shouldn't get into a relationship. It's just when I'm lying here alone and when Valentine's Day is coming up and like New Year's just passed and there's no one to kiss at midnight except for my mom. So I kissed my mom at midnight, which was nice. 
to have, you know, someone. Some people don't have anyone, so it's not like I'm being a, oh, poor me, uh, kind of thing. I'm totally not. I'm so grateful for the things I have in my life. I really, really, really am. Just watch the 25 things I'm grateful for tag video I did. I think it's... I posted, like, on Christmas or a couple days before Christmas. Yeah, watch that. That's So I am, like, grateful and stuff. It's just New Year's, it was really hard not to have a romantic <sighs> connection. And I really wanted to kiss that guy. Yeah. And I sent him a text. I like texted him like star, kiss, star, you know. So like being like I kissed him and he did, said nothing back and this is before he was mad at me so that was kind of like really shitty <laughs> and the cool thing about New Year's was though was um last New Year's I was kind of out of control like in the sense that I was experimenting with drugs and drinking because of my like just all the shit and I was like really high last last New Year's, and um, I this New Year's I was like, ah, I just want to have a couple of drinks, and I really don't want to get I haven't gotten high in a year because last New Year's yeah, so I it's not like I am an addict or anything, I'm not. It's just I did that whole thing, but um, I only had a couple of drinks. On New Year's, I barely had a buzz, and that was cool. I was proud of myself for that, because I could have easily been like, I'm gonna use alcohol to make me feel better now kind of thing about New Year's. But I didn't, because I knew that that wouldn't make me feel better. <laughs> I would probably just be really depressed and maybe go to that guy's house again. But, so I didn't, and had a couple beers. That was it. It was fun. But I did, I definitely felt, like, when everybody went to bed, I was like, like, I have no one. Oh my god. This is what I really need help with, is this relationship fucking, oh, this addiction to relationships. It's just, I've had this problem for, like, I don't know, like, five years, six years. It feels like forever, though. Now my makeup's all, like, coming off because it's 3 in the morning. And I'm breaking out. I think it's stress, which is really fun. Yay. Anyways, yeah, that's... It's... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now I work at a fucking card shop. And Valentine's Day is coming up. And do you know how much fun it's going to be single working at a card store on Valentine's Day? And I'm just going to try to do everything I can not to engage in uh, problem behavior because I'm almost a year clean from self-harm cutting. That was my issue. Almost a year. I'm so close. January 22nd will be a year without cutting for me. And I haven't gone this long since I started. So I'm really proud of myself. I just know that it's gonna get even harder <laughs> because I feel like a year, I'm gonna be like, I made it to a year. Now I deserve to cut. <laughs> kind of thing. Like, Valentine's Day, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be surprised if I don't end up relapsing on Valentine's Day. I'm kind of already going into it, like, I'm just gonna cut myself, because I deserve to on Valentine's Day. Like, gonna justify it to myself, which is not good, and I shouldn't do that, and I know that, and... There are a million other things I could do, but it's just, when you get into that sadness and loneliness and heartache, when you feel like you're dying from the inside, it is so hard not to pull that razor blade out or for other people do that line or drink that bottle or next bottle. It's so hard when you're in the fucking moment and there's no one there to take you out of the moment. That's why I really want phone coaching, to be honest. I want someone to be able to call and be like, look, I'm having a mental fucking breakdown and my razor is right there. So what do I do? 
can you take my mind off of this? Cause that would that would that would be really useful to have. But I bet you anything, even if I did have that opportunity, I wouldn't even do it because I, fe I feel bad for inconveniencing people all the time. That's another problem of mine is I feel like I don't, there's so many other people that deserve help more than I do. And there's so many people that are more fucked up than I am. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. I love how I'm just rambling now. I'm probably going to post this just because... This is like the most honest video I've made in a while. Like honest about my thoughts. I'm usually so worried about offending people. So I won't say much about my personal opinion. Like to this extent. Because I don't want it to be too controversial. And I don't want to offend anybody by what I'm saying. And I don't want people to like comment and be like. Wow you're an entitled bitch because of this this and this. And your problems are nothing. Like I don't, I don't know. I just get worried sometimes that's all. But, oh, I've been listening to this radio show, it's like every Saturday at 11 to 2, it's called People Helping People with Mark Elliott, and it was helping me a lot until I listened to it last night and had a breakdown because he mentioned the guy that I was dating. He's like, so-and-so is right next to me right now, and I like lost my shit and had like a freak out I was like I'm never listening to this again because now he's gonna mention so and so and I was already not trying to think of so and so I just I went right into emotion mind and it, I was not expecting it because I was being self soothed by listening this guy is like a really comforting voice so I was being soothed and listening and like enjoying the show and then all of a sudden the person who I'm trying not to think about is forced into my mind and I was like shit this fucking sucks that sucked it really did and I just hope next Saturday I have the balls to listen to it and hopefully he doesn't mention him again fingers crossed that doesn't happen cuz yeah uh, it's just this um I don't even think I explained what the show was about at all I have no idea. it's like 3 in the morning cut me some slack it's this it's like he talks about addictions and stuff, and I just find it really, it feels kind of like an NA meeting in my ear. <laughs> like, not NA, like, annoying, it. like, it's not very religiously based or whatever, it just people will call in and then he, like, gives them advice, and one of the things I loved about NA, because I went, because my mom, I didn't need to go, it was my mom, but, um, one of the things I loved is the stories, and then you hear these people calling Mark, and they'd say, like, their stories, and he offers advice, and it's just really nice to listen to, so I, I've been enjoying it, except for last night when I listened to the podcast, and wanted to die after, it's just like, why? Uh, so, I mean, that was, that was a good coping tool for me. Other than that, I've been drawing, like, coloring in my adult coloring book, which has been good, and that's a good coping tool as well. And today, I made this collage, which I hadn't made a collage in a while, so that was cool. And that was fun, and I enjoyed it. And I listened to, like, girly songs while doing it, which made me feel good. Like, <laughs> I was listening to uh, Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. That song always makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. And listening to Lady Gaga, Born This Way. That's like my anthem. I love that song. It reminds me of Pride. And Pride's in like six months now. Yeah. Six more months till Pride. Oh my god, I'm so excited already. Um, yeah. So I should probably try to get some sleep. Yeah, that would be a good idea. What time is it? It is 3.10. And I should probably go to bed. But, oh, I don't know. I know, as soon as I turn this fucking camera off, I'm going to start thinking about him.
and his smile and his face. Oh my god, he had he has the cutest face though, like ever. Like, oh my god, it's adorable and it's so handsome and like he's so attractive and then he's also so funny and do you see what happens? I just need to focus on the negative things about him. That's what I need to really try to my hardest to do. Like really. <laughs> it's difficult. Again, when you're lying in bed alone thinking about how Valentine's Day is coming up and that's I just need to think of other things, I guess. Somehow. <laughs> I just need to condition myself to be an independent person and not think about men or women because I'm bisexual. Not think about them and just girl power, be independent, yay. I don't know how to do that though, that's the thing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna cuddle my body pillow and my cat because that's what I do. And then as I'm cuddling my body pillow, I'll probably pretend that it's him. Do other people do that? Or am I just psycho? Oh, and he called me psychotic on his Facebook status, which didn't make me want to kill myself at all. I mean, I was just thrilled. Especially because he used to be a counselor. So I was like, that's great. Someone who used to be a counselor is calling me psychotic. I must really be psychotic. I said that to my psychiatrist earlier today, and then she's like, Sarah... I've been seeing you for six years now, you're not psychotic. <laughs> and she did make me feel a bit better about it. He probably just said it out of anger. Still, very unprofessional for someone who used to be a counselor to say that. And very, like, stigma. Like, I would never call someone crazy or psychotic like that because... Or if that person does have mental health issues, that must really hurt them by saying- and, and he knows that I have mental health issues, so him calling me psychotic is kind of very cruel and a low blow and makes it a little bit easier for me to think he's an asshole. I just need to focus on that and not the good parts. Honestly, that's what I need to do. Because... That'll make it easier for myself, and that's what I need to- that's what I need to do. I need to focus on myself. So I'm sorry this video is 22 minutes long <laughs> of me just talking about random shit and what's going on in my life, but I will post another video very soon. I think my next video, it might be about um, the difference between being a narcissist and loving yourself because i've been thinking about that a lot lately and how there is a big difference between that and you shouldn't be ashamed well i'll i'll, I'll save it for the video and yeah i'm gonna be making a lot more videos soon guys because this youtube channel is very important to me and i am a mental health youtuber it's very important to me to raise awareness for mental health issues and that's what i'm trying to do so i I hope you guys were able to get to know me a little bit more tonight and what I was saying and well I'm probably gonna post the video when I get up so it's not gonna be nighttime anymore I don't know <laughs> I'm so awkward with like ending videos every time I'm like oh my god yeah <laughs> okay um I will see you guys again soon and Take care of yourself.